So I'm here with Scott, my good buddy Scott from yeah. Versatech and Hillmore. Yes. And uh, you've already, I mean, if you follow what we do, you know how excited I am about the line set cleaner from Hillmore. Uh, but we got some feedback from the show. So I'll let Scott kind of describe the feedback you got and what, what you did. Absolutely, Brian. Thank you. So at AHR, we had this beautiful H. It was made with about 20 feet of 7 8 line set. It had beautiful sweeping curves. And the feedback we got from all the technicians at the show was, well, what about hard 90s? What about extreme kinks? Will this product, you know, be able to pass? through all the 90s and of course at the show I'm talking till I'm blue in my face saying yeah it'll do it yeah it'll do it so we got back from HR we knew the symposium was gonna happen and we said you know what we've got to present the worst case scenario and we came up with this um, so what this is is it's basically almost 50 feet of line set the one side has 16 hard 90s that it goes through reversing direction it's got three pretty severe kinks one very severe kink at the end and once again, just like we were at AHR, we're, we're pressurizing this to about 70 PSI, and it literally comes through every kink and every bend and every turn. It makes a really cool noise when it does it too. It, it does. It, it, it's we, we put the kink at the end, and it, it may have been a mistake because I tell you what, it makes kind of a loud, almost gunshot noise. I'm actually surprised really you know, people aren't to. hitting the ground. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it's it's very kinky, but it still works just fine. Absolutely. You know, I mean, can you put that in the packaging? It, we could. Even yeah. when it's <laughs> we could actually. <laughs> okay. You know, Believe it's that. slightly kinky, but you know, still works. <laughs> right. <laughs> I kind of like that because yeah. we make pigs fly. I mean, that's what we do here. It is true, yeah. So uh, the other thing we, we were asked about is will it push liquid through the line? And what we did is we, we gave it an access tee. So we're, we're putting water into the line itself. So just everybody can see yeah, that. Yeah, do not do this at home. Yeah, please don't do this at home. We, you're... Or actually worse yet, don't do it on the job yeah, site. Yeah, don't do yeah. it at the job site. You can do it at home if you want to. That would be up to you. Not yeah. the job site. So using the same same pigs, we've actually turned the pressure down a little bit to be able to show the water column. So put that camera right there. You're going to see this water start to boil and go places. And boom, it's already out. So once you've pushed that pig through the line set and you've cleaned out the oil and gunk, you're probably going to want to send a few more through it yep. just to clean it out. And you can do it one after another. Yep. And yep. it cleans that line set every time. And a lot of people have asked, like, well, why do you call it a pig? Well, it, that's actually an industry term that we uh, we researched, and it, it comes from the oil and gas industry. Yep. Uh, they actually have pigs anywhere from three inches up to eight feet, yep. believe it or not, in diameter to clean your large pipelines, to clean the oil and gas lines. Yep. So they send those pigs down the lines, and they do the same thing we're doing, just on a much larger scale. They're cleaning those pipes. And this is actually something that I love about this, is while we love innovation, we love innovation that's taking things that are already proven and applying them to the HVACR industry. 100%. And that's what this is. We're not reinventing the wheel here. We're taking the wheel and making it better and applying it to HVAC. Well, 100%, especially yeah. with some of the feedback we've received from you and all the technicians out there. We're going to continue to, to improve this product and hopefully be able to uh, apply it to other parts of this industry as well. Yeah, awesome. No, I love this product. We've talked about how well it's made. It's aluminum, how nice it is to load, the yes. handle design, all that stuff. It's made to be durable. It's made to be easy to use in the field. Um, guys like me, me and Eric Kaiser and others have been you know, giving feedback on it for quite some time. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I've been able to tell you about it, of course. But uh, yeah, it's been our, it's been our skunk work project for is, quite some time. It is. It is this top secret FBI CIA project. But yeah, yeah there, there, I can tell you there has not been a product that's come out in the last probably three, four years that I've been more excited than this one. And while it seems simple in practice, what it can do in terms of reducing issues on installs is is really huge. I mean, these yeah. things can really prevent a lot of that leftover junk inside of an old line set that can potentially cause a lot of damage damage to the system. Absolutely, and that's that's some of the feedback we received here that, you know, even if the pig doesn't come out the other end, that at least lets you know there is a severe issue with the line set itself, yeah. and they know to blow it out the other side and then start, you know, troubleshooting to see where they can find where that extreme kink is so they can, you know, obviously pinpoint where it's at. Yeah. So it's the Hillmore Line Set Cleaner? Confirmed, yes. Hill, Hillmore Line Set Cleaner. Uh, you can get it from your local supply house. Anybody that can get Hillmore tools. Now, some people will say, well, it's not in the supply house right now, but what I would suggest is if it's not there, 
get with your local territory manager, your salesperson, and say, hey, I want it, bring this in, and that's gonna help get it on the shelves. Because in a lot of cases, you know, they just don't know what's gonna be popular. And you're gonna want that because then you're also gonna end up having the pigs on the shelf yes. so that way you can get those easily. Yeah, we will be selling the pigs in packs of 10, so you can get every size pig from 3 8 to 7 8 in that pack of 10, along with the Hillmore line set cleaner. And just so your, your fan base knows, it's HLC007. HLC007. Now, a lot of people have asked, how long do you expect these pigs to last? Ah, so we, we really don't want to put a number around it because I don't want people to come back and yell right. at me and say, hey, you were right. wrong. Um, but depending upon the line set and the way it's set up, obviously my brazing for this period of time was, uh, I learned off of, you know YouTube for 10 minutes. So not a very good job brazing any of these lines. If it's a good clean line set, you can probably get a good 10 uses out of it. Yeah. You know, we're pushing pigs at least five to six times through this line set. We're seeing some uh, deformation, but nothing that's catastrophic. Yeah. And a big key to keeping them, uh, making sure they last is, is reaming the tubing. You know, Absolutely. Making sure to deburr it yes. uh, so that way it's not kind of, because again, it's not going to tear it up completely because it is very well made, yes. but it will kind of score the edges a little Absolutely, bit. absolutely. And I did not, I purposely did not do any deburring on any of this. Yeah, it's to make we, it realistic for the it, kind of we, stuff you're I want it to find. be as real as I could make it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it is, it is, scenario. it is, it's got hideous solder job on it and everything. So yeah. we, yeah, we really, we really nailed that. So I'm not sure I, I spent more on that. solder or copper. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably point. on solder and map, knowing me. <laughs> Good point. So let's move over here. Scott, tell me about this new swoosh drain gun. So we launched several products at AHR, and this was probably one of the more exciting ones, other than the Hillmore Line Set Cleaner. This is the SG2 uh, double barrel swoosh gun. So it's the 40 gram drain gun. So it uses two of our 20 gram cartridges, and it gives you two and a half times more volume at the same PSI, 800 PSI, because that's what the CO2 cartridges are at. So yeah. you literally they have two and a half times more volume being able to push all that sludge, all that gunk, all that ziglia out that drain line. Yep, yep. And volume does matter when it comes to drain cleaning. I mean, pressure helps get it cleared, but you actually don't want pressure to be too much. You know, so here's some guys jacking up a nitrogen tank or something like that. That could actually cause damage to the drain. With this, you've got a nice amount of volume with appropriate pressure to get a drain really cleared. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So that this is one of the things we're really excited about. It also comes with this neat little case where yeah, the cases, you're like the king of cases. I, 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 got, I gotta say, yeah, that's I, something that we all love about I you. like multi-purpose cases, so if you have a toolbox or a tool truck this goes in, it, it'll fit in that top skinny drawer, so you can just put it in there and let it ride and use the case for something else if you want to. But it also comes with this neat little adapter that it gives you the ability to go from the end of our hose to any of those traditional standard quarter inch accessories, like from our drain cat and drag dog lines. Right. So you've got the, the balloon expansion, the needle, the uh, tire inflator, everything you really need to really make this a complete. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some of us even like to make like kind of our own custom ends, you know, yes. in order to fit in drains, because the this this end is great in some applications and others it may not fit perfect. Right. And so with that adapter, it makes it really easy. 100% agree yeah. with you and uh, hope to see some new ends from us soon. Yeah, awesome. So. All right, what else yeah. we got here? So we keep moving down the line of Hillmore and another exciting product that launched at AHR was our, uh, we, we call it the pocket brake internally, but it's a portable sheet metal scoring tool. And what this is, it's basically a one pound 25 ounce brick of material that allows people to do uh, plenum, you know, uh, uh, cross break installations out there in the field. So it's literally going from corner to corner, applying a little bit of body weight, and they can quickly and easily create that cross break yep. in that sheet metal. That's not exactly perfect. But, <laughs> but it, you get the point. You get the point. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it really is. It has amazing weight yes. to it. It feels, it just feels great in the hand. And as you know, sometimes cross breaking can be a kind of a tricky thing. Yes. I've, I've seen guys do it with everything from a ladder, an edge of a ladder and that kind of thing. And this is just a really nice a tool, throws in the toolbox and you have it for when you need it. Um, even for guys who don't do a lot of sheet metal, it's just a great tool to have. I yeah. mean, it really is a, for when you need it. Absolutely. We had the, the most interesting one I heard of today was a, a level, a straight edge, and a number three blade screwdriver, and a foot, and literally putting your foot on the screwdriver and, and scratching across. across the metal. I'm going, that sounds painful. <laughs> it sounds so awful, I, yeah. I, I actually showed him this, and he was like, that's going in my toolbox. Yeah, no, they're so great. So ho hopefully he went over and ordered one. So we keep moving down the line here, and of course, this is another one of my more exciting, my favorite. Um, this tools. is, I'm going to say, I think this is probably your favorite. It, I mean, it is. You've 
you've been talking about this one for a while, I and have. I'm with you. I have, because I mean, it truly is the most fun you can have without stripping. But it is the Hillmore <laughs> reversible magnetic hex. It is a driver that is a quarter and five sixteenths. Some of the technology behind it is you can quickly change bits, flipping it with your thumb rather than having to just pull that socket off. So if it does get stuck in certain applications, so you can easily flip it. It's 6150 impact grade steel, so it's the same steel that they use in impact sockets out there in the field. So it's designed to be used with those, you know, heavy yep. 20 volt, 20 volt tools. They come in three different lengths, two and three quarter, four inch and six inch. And literally, I mean, it is the most fun you can have. With you just want to keep saying I that. Do, you I really do. do. It's, it's your punchline. It I is. like it. It's one of my so, favorite punchlines. So in terms of comparing to some of the other products that are out there, you've yes. really worked hard to make sure that this is going to be one of the longest lasting drivers on the Absolutely. market. Absolutely. There's, there's another like secret to the sauce there is kind of the geometry the socket itself, the way it drives the screws, you'll see little scallops on the uh, the edge there of each corner. And what that does is when the screw they encounter is slightly rounded, it actually shifts to start driving that screw from the flat edges, which which what prevents stripping, you know, in a socket in general. So by having that, it gives us that competitive edge. And you know, it it is one of those products that everybody loves, and you know, it's a tool everybody likes to have. Yeah, the matte finish, the yes. quality of the steel, the testing that you put on it, yes. the strength of the magnet, it's a fundamentally sound product. Yes. And again, at the end of the day, for a product like this, you just want something that's going to do the job. Absolutely. It's not going to strip out. It's going to last a long time. And, and you nailed it. Yeah. And we got that feedback not only from you, but all your guys out there in the field. So, yeah. you know, forever grateful for that. We've done some testing. We're hoping yeah. to quant be able to quantify that in some future marketing for everybody. Yeah. And uh, we, we definitely come out superior in all ways, shapes. And awesome. And as always, one thing that I really like about you and about the Diversity Tech and Hillmore team, if you get the product and you have any feedback, you any questions, they want to hear that feedback. That's a really big part of what Diversitech and Hillmore has been doing, which is why I'm excited to have them here and to work with them, is that they're listening to the field. So always, always feel free to reach out if, if, if you have any questions. Please do. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. Awesome. And I try to be as active as I can on social media that I'm allowed to do. So. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you Scott. very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank Good you. talking to you. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.